And the Tigers game is happening <laughs> while the Detroit Red Wings home opener downtown is also going on. So it's going to be really, really packed out there. Yeah, it'll be great for businesses, but could also create some issues. CBS News Detroit's Heath Kalb joins us live downtown with what the city is doing to keep people safe. Hey, Heath. Well, there's certainly no lack of excitement or people here in downtown Detroit. The Tigers first pitch is in just about an hour, and there are thousands of people here at the block party, as you could see already flowing into Comerica Park. Yesterday, there was actually an attendance record for the postseason here with 44,885, and there's no doubt we're going to see that again this evening. But it's not just the Tigers tonight. The Red Wings also have their season opener just up the street at Little Caesars Arena. Now, the Tigers game begins at 6, and the Red Wings at 8. And already we are seeing tons of fans in both jerseys excited for this huge night in Detroit sports. I spoke to fans just moments ago about what they're looking forward to tonight, and how much excitement there would be in the streets of Detroit if the Tigers do clinch a spot in the ALCS. I think you're going to see a lot of people sticking around. And I'm sure the people at the, the Red Wing game opening night, good for them. I'm sure they're going to be watching it on TV there as well. If we pull out a win tonight, yes, I probably won't be at work tomorrow. I mean, you have to hang in the D for the celebrations after, so that's what we'll be doing. And with 45 or so thousand people coming here to Comerica Park and another 20,000 going to Little Caesars Arena this evening, I spoke to the Detroit police about how they're making sure everyone stays safe. Police Commissioner Matthew Fulgenti telling me people have no reason to feel anything but safe with an increase in security and police presence today. And it's probably a good thing that there's going to be an increase in police security tonight because if the Tigers do pull out yet another win, their third in this series against the Cleveland Guardians, around 9, 30, 10 o'clock when the game wraps up, it is going to be rowdy out here in the streets of Detroit with people celebrating an ALCS appearance for the first time in 11 years with a chance to make the World Series if they just beat the Yankees or the Royals. So we're going to have continuing coverage here outside of Comerica Park throughout the day. For now, outside of Comerica, I'm Heath Kalb, CBS News, Detroit. All right, exciting times, and good to know people are in good hands down there. Thank you, Heath.